I wait. There doesn't seem to be anything I can do. I laid my head down and tried to get comfortable. I stayed in the room at the desk. I stayed in the room at the desk. I shuffled slightly in the chair. I think I could smell some kind of mold. I stayed in the room at the desk. I tried to keep my mind from wandering. Hell, does this woman Celia even want with me? Why is she doing this? My forehead hit the desk with a light thud. There's nothing I can do to figure out any of this. I stayed in the room at the desk. I stayed in the room at the desk. The faint hum of the lights was interrupted by the light tapping of someone approaching the door. My heart rate jumped. A second later, she entered the room. There you are. Did you have a comfortable night? I honestly had no idea what time it was. I kept my head low. Huh. Well, now we've actually got plenty of time to break you in. I have a special job for you that I've been waiting for. She produced a big black bag and another set of handcuffs. Something about my expression must have caught her eye because she let out a light laugh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you. Not if you behave anyway. We're just going to play a little role-playing game. She walked over to me and placed the bag over my head. Please, I, I don't want to do this. Oh, you're begging already. I felt her hand touch my shoulder briefly. I think you're going to be really good at this. I felt the drawstring of the bag tighten around my head. It was scratchy, but still loose enough to breathe through the bag. I felt the click of a second pair of handcuffs around my hands. I felt a surge of adrenaline. She's going to uncuff me from the desk. This could be my chance. I waited as she started to remove the cuffs from my left hand. As soon as I felt the metal drop away, I lunged in her direction. She yelled angrily as my elbow connected with her. I frantically tried to land another hit or grab for her. But she was already out of reach. My right hand was still cuffed to the desk. I stretched out, trying to grasp anything. She was completely silent. What is she waiting for? <laughs> I clenched my teeth as electric agony shot through my entire body from my back. I collapsed awkwardly against the desk. I couldn't do anything but groan in pain as she yanked my free arm and cuffed my hand behind my back. Then I heard her voice right against my head. You can squirm if you want. I'll just enjoy it more when you start screaming. She grabbed me roughly from the desk and shoved me down to my knees onto the floor. Now, I heard the creak of an office chair I had previously occupied. It's time for some fun. Your name is Edward. You steal ideas and have the composure of a weasel. I heard the chair creak again, and her voice was closer. You're a bottom-feeding parasite who is incapable of original thought. Her voice had taken on a much sharper tone. Isn't that right? Uh, yes, ma'am. That's right. I felt her heel on my back for an instant before being shoved face first to the ground. I groaned against the scratchy black bag as I felt her walk to my side and place a heel on my back. You fucking vermin! She started pressing the sharp heel of the shoe into my flesh. You think you could screw with me? You. I writhed as she ground the heel down are worthless. I couldn't help but whine in pain. The sounds seemed to affect her, since the weight of her foot left my back. 
I laid still as she paced quickly next to me. <sighs> Get up. I got up off the floor onto my knees. Two angry taps of her shoes approaching were all the warning I had before being kicked ruthlessly onto the side. I couldn't breathe. I curled onto my side, gasping, trying to get my lungs to work. I'll crush you. I barely got a single gasp in before a second kick stabbed into my stomach. I clamped my mouth shut to keep the contents of my stomach down. Everyone will see you broken. And I'll laugh. When I finally managed to wheeze, I immediately began coughing. I laid on the ground, coughing and suppressing pained whimpers. Couldn't tell where she was. They listened and began to notice her breathing. She was practically panting. Sorry. Her breathing became quiet. I might as well play along. I, I am worthless. My voice was shaking with uncertainty. I hoped this was what she wanted. She was silent for a long moment. Then I heard her sit down in the chair again. Crawl for me. There's no point in salvaging pride now. I barely held in a whimper as I scrambled to get back onto my knees from the floor. I struggled for balance, with my hands cuffed together. I awkwardly crawled towards the sound of her voice. I flinched as I felt her shoe on my head through the bag but she didn't put as much pressure on it as before. She seemed to be resting it there. I didn't dare move, so I just laid there and tried to ignore my throbbing ribs. I felt her foot move a bit and heard some soft shuffling. I tried to stay calm instead of imagining what she would do next. My fear slowly turned to curiosity as I heard nothing but her breathing. What? I kept listening, realizing that her breathing was getting a bit louder, but I noticed the weight of her foot was shifting rhythmically. Oh my god, is she? <sighs> I instantly froze up. Did, did she just moan? My mind went to several directions at once before settling on just staying still. At least she's not kicking me. The pressure of her foot increased, lightly grinding my face into the bag. I accidentally let out a muffled whimper. She responded with a harder press and a more audible moan. Her foot jerked against my head, and I heard her breathing slow and deepen. I could feel my own face flushing as she showed me in a final time breathing out a cry through her clenched teeth. I jerked in surprise as the chair suddenly creaked and she got up. She took only a moment to catch her breath and pat her clothing. Good! You did well. I heard her pacing for a few moments. She walked back to me and yanked my bag off abruptly. I kept still as she stared at me sharply. She seemed to be mauling over some decision. Suddenly, she stood up straighter and walked to the door. I think we're done here for now. Her gaze dropped my handcuffs and she chewed her lip for a moment. I tried to appear as non-threatening as possible. I guess I can take those. She roughly shoved me down and grabbed the cuffs. Stay still. She popped open the metal restraints and took them. I can't have you choking yourself out with them. Do not make me regret that. Without any other words, she headed to the door and slipped out. I heard the click of a lock and her quick steps fading away. I sat up, wincing. Well, I can sort of move around at least now. I rubbed the red marks on my wrists and thought about what to do next. 